Security Team Admissions Guide. This is the third video in a five-part series releasing admissions data for the University of Texas at Austin. The first video I discussed admissions trends over time university-wide. Uh, the most recent video was about business and the business honors program. And this third video is about computer science in the College of Natural Sciences and the Turing Scholars Honors Program. So I wanted to dedicate a specific video to this for two reasons. The first reason is that all applicants to the College of Natural Sciences are compared against one another. So if you apply for biology, you know, you're compared with students who are also applying for chemistry or textiles and apparel and so on. Uh, but there are two exceptions, computer science and neuroscience. So applicants to computer science are compared only against other applicants to computer science. One reason for this is the second thing, um, that applications to computer science have increased uh, exponentially over time. Um, so in 2010, there were four, 475 applications uh, admitting 57% of their students. Um, so this has increased in 2016. So for the fall 2016 class, there were almost 2,700 um, applicants. Um, computer science hasn't released, or the College of Natural Sciences hasn't released their applicant admitted data for 2016, 2017, but it's, you know, it's very possible that more than 3,000 students applied as their first choice major for computer science last year. Um, this is becoming you know, this is the, the most popular major at UT just based on, on how many students are applying um, and the rate of the application. It's also the most popular major worldwide. Um, you know, 10 years ago when the price of oil was you know, $150 a barrel, petroleum engineering applications skyrocketed. Um, but like computer science in the last few years has definitely been like the, the hot major um, nationwide. So uh, you're seeing record numbers of applications all over the place. Um, in 2015, about 38% of all students gained admission um, to computer science. And so, you know, it still wasn't as competitive as it is now, but literally just one year in the future, uh, it decreased from 38% to 21%. Um, so that's, you know, nearly twice as competitive as the previous year. Uh, like I say, it's, it's very possible the admissions rate was, was in the teens um, for, for the fall 2017 class. So, you know, applicants to computer science, you, know, you really need to demonstrate your fit for major. Um, academically, you need to be really talented, right? Like top 7% isn't going to guarantee anything. You know, even if you're scoring, you know, perfect on your standardized exams, you know, you still have to put forward uh, compelling, you know, resumes and essays. Uh, I recommend for students to be at least in the top 10% with the 1400 in order to be competitive. Um, I had a client last year, for example, who was in the top 15% um, with the 35 on the AC2 who didn't gain admission. Um, it was a big surprise, but it just goes to show that um, the, the applicant pool is, is, is super competitive. So you really need to demonstrate, um, you know, a deep interest and curiosity in computer science. You know, certainly if you have, you know, technology courses at your high school, that's one way you can demonstrate fit. Um, obviously, if you have AP computer science, that's another way. Um, securing a letter of recommendation from a computer science teacher, technology teacher can certainly help. Um, and in fact, the Turing Scholars Program requires you to submit um, a relevant recommendation letter. Um, it's optional, of course, for regular admission. Um, but like you know, computer science, there's so many different ways to demonstrate fit. Like I think students here can really think outside the box. I mean, even if you have activities that can't easily be quantified on a resume or like number of hours per week, number of weeks per year, it's not doesn't fit neatly as a job or as a volunteering experience. You know, you have a lot of students that are entrepreneurs creating their own applications. Um, I had a client last year who like made his own algorithm for uh, uh, to buy and sell items on a video game, and he made a lot of money doing that on Reddit. Um, which like isn't something you can like fit neatly on Applied Texas. Um, for that reason, like that expanded resume is really important, especially if you're self-studying on Khan Academy or you're taking a Python course. You know, these are things you definitely need to talk about. You know, you don't need like a, a formal certificate to show that you've you know completed projects in a workbook. Um, but reviews are really going to have a high threshold for for seeing students who demonstrate that fit. So even if you don't have like formal classroom experience, like there's so many ways to teach yourself. You know, programming or, or artificial intelligence, computer languages, and so on. Um, you know, you really need to have these relevant experiences. Um, and this is especially true for Turing scholars. Um, admissions data, it's very, very hard to find applicant admitted student data for Turing. Um, I have no idea, like, exactly what the, the typical class rank or test score is. Like, Business Honors is really good about releasing that data, but Turing is, like, honestly a black hole. Like, I try different ways to find information, and the only thing I can find is that there's about 150 students um, total in the Turing program. So this is, like, freshman to senior. Um, so it's reasonable to assume that maybe there's, there's 50 or 60 students admitted to Turing scholars each year, you know, expecting about half of those to enroll. So they're really only enrolling, you know, 25, 30, 35 students each year. Um, I do remember looking at the Turing profiles when I worked for UT Austin. Like, these were students that were, like, scoring 800, 790 on the SAT math, you know, 36, 35. So these are students who were, you know, top 1 or 2 or 3% of the class. Um, so Turing, you know, is really going to be an exceptionally competitive program, you know, on par with, 
um, you know, the most competitive programs nationwide, Stanford, Caltech. Um, and there's a reason for that. I mean, the UT's computer science department is one of the best in the country. Um, and Turing is obviously an exceptional program. There's also a new program combining business honors and Turing, you know, for a few truly exceptional applicants. Um, so if you're interested in that program, then, uh, you know, definitely apply to both. Um, but that's really all I have. You know, if, if you're interested in applying to computer science or debating whether to apply at all, I can give you a free consultation. Um, you can find a link to complete my questionnaire um, in the information section of this video. I'm also working on a course. Um, I've got two um, applicants, like uh, kind of applications of students who apply to computer science. I'm going to uh, kind of read those applications, you know, putting you uh, putting the viewer in the shoes of an admissions counselor to kind of see what they see, to look for the, the different markers, you know, relevant activities, parts of the essays um, that reviewers are going to be looking for. So definitely join my mailing list to get the, the latest information about this course. Um, so the next video I'm going to talk about um, all the information for uh, the Cockrell School of Engineering, each engineering discipline. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel um, to get the latest updates and information. Um, as always, I hope you have a great day.